All the way back in 2019, Marvel decided that they were going to put Captain Marvel as the face of the MCU going forward. They were going to talk about her in that way. She was the most powerful person in the universe. Brie Larson is going to be the leader of the Avengers going forward. Kevin Feige would not stop talking about it, despite the fact that there was a very divisive reaction from fans to the Captain Marvel movie. This was not a movie they ever intended on making, but instead it was a response to the Wonder Woman success that they saw with DC. So they decided we really have to make a female focused movie and push it to the forefront of the MCU. Look how well this did for DC. Well, Captain Marvel came out and it's not exactly like it was that well received. It made a billion dollars, which is incredible. But it was sandwiched between two of the biggest movies in comic book history, and you were told you have to go watch this to understand Endgame. Fuck, the, the cliffhanger in Infinity War was about Captain Marvel. So a lot of people were interested to see what it would lead to, but the end result was a character that the vast majority of fans rejected, that they did not like. They didn't like Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. But anytime you said that, you were told that you're just a sexist. You just don't like strong women if you have a problem with Brie Larson. Weird how there wasn't a response like that to Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Maybe people just didn't like the character. Well, fast forward several years later, and the sequel to Captain Marvel, which is now called, called The Marvels, looks like it's going to be a box office disaster for the MCU. They've certainly seen their share of failures over the past two years, both in streaming and in the theaters. But it looks like The Marvels might end up being one of the worst we've ever seen, tracking to potentially have the lowest opening box office weekend in MCU history. And now the reports come out that Brie Larson, after all this time, after all this backlash, she might be ready to walk away from Marvel. And if I were her, I would do the same thing. I probably would have done it sooner, to be honest with you. Certainly, Brie Larson said some things in the lead up to Captain Marvel and stuff like that that people grabbed onto. Uh, that she probably really regrets saying that went viral. And, you know, she has to be held accountable for that and responsible for that. However, at the same time, the response that we saw from Marvel, from everybody who's in charge of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, just continue to make things worse for her. Because when fans came up with legitimate criticisms, this is the reason we don't like this character. This is the reason this doesn't make sense. This is the reason we don't like Carol Danvers in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The response was, you're just a toxic fan. You're just a bigot. You're just a sexist. You must just hate women. And guess what? Regardless of what you fans say, we're going to continue to make her more important than anyone else in this universe. That didn't go over well for Marvel, and it didn't go over well for Brie Larson. So now it looks like she's ready to just be fucking done. One Avengers actor reportedly wants to quit the MCU due to toxic fans. Now, I don't know if because of toxic fans is the reason that uh, this report is coming out. In fact, in response to this one line in the Reign of the MCU book that's coming out and spilling a bunch of tea, it says, Brie Larson grew disillusioned. And when asked to explain that, this is the explanation. Marvel Studios put Brie Larson in a prominent place in the MCU. I don't know if Brie was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash means Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore. This person that you decided to push up there as the face of the MCU going forward, you decided to say, fuck fans, we're going to do what we want to do, regardless if the fans like it or not. Now it's led to that very same person that you continue to push over and over and over again in Brie Larson as Carol Danvers, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. They want out. They've fucking had enough. They're ready to walk away. And I would too. I imagine she was contractually obligated to do the Marvels. That's just my guess. Based on what we saw when she was there for D23, uh, she said it herself. She said, I don't know. Does anybody want you to play it anymore? She was being serious. She knows that there's been a lot of backlash and she knows that Marvel made it worse. It's probably one of the reasons that she wants to leave the MCU I don't know if Brie Larson regrets saying some of those things. She's certainly been quiet about a lot of those hardline things that could generate backlash. We haven't had anything from her like that in the past four years. Nothing about, oh, white men, this, blah, blah, blah. We haven't had shit since Captain Marvel came out. Uh, but she certainly is ready to distance herself from the MCU. And I don't blame her at all. If I were involved in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'd want to leave as fast as fucking possible.